Hello everybody, this is String Gamer back to kick off round 4 for Group E. Be the best group in this tournament because I'm in it. So yeah, at first we are going to see our host, Stranger Gamer, going up against Iron Dan. Team Europe going up against Maastrichtian. And then a big game between Dino Hunter and Ur. So yeah, important games for the bottom three. It is literally the bottom three versus the top three. So let's see how this plays out. Oh, we're in the Coliseum, so no terrain advantages to worry about here. Okie dokie, in the blue-red corner for our hosts, we got the Megaraptor. Megaraptor doing well in this tournament so far, as is our hosts. Winning 3 out of 3, looking to make it 4 out of 4. Backing up the Megs, we got a Blitz-type Tarbosaurus, and this Tarbosaurus has shown that, that, it, that it is a potent force in this team. Honestly, the Tarbosaurus has worked really well. I was going to go with Despletosaurus, but I thought, no, the technique is too low. I thought, no, let's go Tarbosaurus, and people use Despletosaurus, so I don't, so yeah. Right, as for Iron Dan, in the blue corner, we've got the Tyre Recovery type Stegosaurus. Um, yeah, this wouldn't be a damaging loss if Iron Dan was to lose here. I don't think it would be that damaging, but in fact, if they can get somehow get a bonus point win... That actually puts them in a really commanding position. Should Team Europe and Ur get defeated in, in this round as well. That means all Iron Dan will need is at least a losing bonus point against Team Europe to guarantee the last a spot in the last 32. But the issue is that uh, if you finish fourth or third in, in this group, you could end up facing someone from Group B. Which at the minute will either be Drogon, Black Beauty, or Ultima Dino King. Oh, I've done the quips, I've balls of quips right up. Alright, it's only me. And it was a tie anyway. <laughs> I don't mind if I screw myself over. There's me yapping, I forgot that I didn't I balls up the quick strike, that's alright. Mega Raptor gets the first hit anyway. Steg responds, Iron Dan getting a crucial hit there. Does not want to get hit by that crept. Calls the quick strike bluff as well. Dino Illusion has been triggered. Oh, that's awkward. I think that's bang on half. Earth Barrier coming in. A good start from Iron Dan. Needed a quick start against the Megs, and he's getting one. Well, the, that eats up the Earth Barrier. Crucial Earth Barrier because this Net Crusher would have done serious damage to the Steg. Oh, here comes the support effect. Tarbosaurus getting in on the act. See, this is what I wanted Tarbosaurus to be, just to chip away at health. Iron Dan needs to get rid of this Dino Illusion though. And indeed he does. A shame that you have to waste a crit on it. Oh, but, you know, that crit would have been lethal. gets a crit anyway and i think for the first time in this tournament our host stranger gamer playing catch up because i'm pretty certain this mega raptor is gonna go down well the tarbosaurus comes in oh it's our host in trouble the tarbosaurus comes in it's gotta go for the crit because that's the rules of the blitz type can he get it oh he can't is this going wrong for the hosts can I and Dan win this? There was another tie. Okay, time to swap the steg out. Oh no, it's not. It keeps healing. Another tie. Ties will suit I and Dan though. And his Spino's gonna have the type advantage over the Tarbo. Oh, there's another. He gets the swap. It's all going wrong for the hosts. The Spino's gonna come in. I don't think we're gonna see the Awaken mode. Oh, it's a fireball, but the spy. Oh, here we go. Here comes 2 4 4 a dive. It's not gonna do as much damage as it normally would, but that could be a crucial crit to get the hosts back in this contest. Oh, wow. Volcano Burst? Oh, Volcano Burst. Well. Hit Iron Dan with a triple whammy, but the Spinosaurus just tanking it like a boss. 
Right, that's twice. Say, one hit from that spinal and it's game over. Oh, it's another hit! The host coming back into it. The another firebomb. Straight again, we're not beaten yet. Well, I'll tell you what, Iron Dan put up much more of a fight than the other, than the first three guys. Boosh. Okay, that's three times. Can the spinal get the swap? Oh, he can't! The spinal's going down! And all of a sudden... Oh, the Tarbos get there! A volcano! Oh, oh yeah, he's got Earth Barrier. Forgot about that. But that's losing bonus points secured. The Volcano Burst will make sure of it. Well, it's going to be an impressive comeback from our hosts. He's thrown the lead away. The Tabasaur has proven its worth. And it is an insane come from behind victory for our host to pretty much guarantee top in Group E. But I and Dan, what an opportunity missed. Wasted opportunity there to get the win. And it probably would have been a bonus point win as well. But oh, just couldn't finish the Tarbo off. Well, that was an insane first match. Absolute insanity. Right, on to our second match. Ooh, we're in the meadow field, which is actually good news for Team Europe. Okie dokie, in the blue red corner for Team Europe, we've got Megalosaurus. I'm sure Iron Dan will be watching this match eagerly here because a win for Team Europe will put them three points clear of Iron Dan into fourth place, and a bonus point win will heap all sorts of pressure on Iron Dan. And in fact, will probably knock Ur out of the tournament. Backing up the Megalosaurus, we've got Iguanodon. So, yes, given the first result, a chance for Team Europe here to put pressure on Iron Dan before they match up in round five. And yes, Team Europe and Iron Dan will play each other in round five. Right, in the blue corner for Maastrichtian, we got Brontekins. But to be honest, I don't see Team Europe winning this match. Even though they got the terrain advantage with the Iguanodon, I just don't think they'll win. I'm pretty confident Maastrichtian will win this match. Watch Megalosaurus sweep now. Backing up the Brontekins, we got Eoraptor. But yeah, as I said, Maastrichtian, since the first round, have been really solid in this tournament. Gained some impressive victories. The Eoraptor being a big factor as well. And he's turned into Megaraptor, which is a good luck charm. Well, the Sonic Blast. Well, we didn't see it at all against Iron Dan for some reason, but I'm sure we'll see it this time. One problem is, if the Eoraptor comes in against the Iguanodon... No, if the Iguanodon comes in against the Eoraptor, that Iguanodon will get a crit, which will probably be enough to kill the Eoraptor. So let's see how this plays out. So Team Europe swaps when HP's in the red, Maastrichtian in the yellow. Okay, so five. And five. We start with a tie. Ooh, Brontekin's getting the first hit. A good start from Maastrichtian. And I will say, a win for Maastrichtian guarantees their last 32 spot. But I'm pretty confident they'll get there anyway, even if they lose this match. Here comes the support effects. That the Oraptor doing his work already. Ooh, but it's Megalosaurus landing the next blow. The warning type effect ha activating there. The stun dash coming in. The the Brontekins is going to get slippy slapped. Slippy, slippy, slap, slap. Boosh. How much damage? Oh, wow. That's loads of damage. Oh, we got a support effect from the Iguanodon getting in on the act. Not good for Masters, you know, because it, Brontekins will have, will try to swap out. And gets the swap. And gets the crit. But I'm not sure that's a good thing, though. Because when the Iguanodon comes in... Or if the Iguanodon comes in, it's going to get a crit on the Eoraptor and kill it instantly, probably. Oh, will it? Oh, actually, he's going to come in now. Oh, is this a good swap? 
not a good swap because the Iguanodon's getting a crit because of the terrain advantage. And, well, we all know about the Oraptor's fragility. There goes my notes. Oh, okay, that's not too bad, actually. Oh, wow, it's expecting a lot more. Hmm. That actually took me by surprise. Oh, here comes the Sonic Blast. Okay, maybe because the Eoraptor turned into Megaraptor, Megaraptor would normally have the type advantage over a Guandon. Maybe that was a factor. Okay, fair enough. Sonic Blast coming in there. Mastrician on top. And, well, as I said, because that was a tie, Mastrician will still attempt the swap. Okay, that's another tie. No Sonic Blast this time. But, Master Shion will get a swap, so the Eoraptor gets to swap out. But, that's all the swapping Master Shion will be doing in this match. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Now that's a recovery! Okay, yeah, Master Shion's on course for a bonus point win, yeah. I don't think there's going to be any arguments. And there it is! Sealing the deal with a Tuku dive. And is yet another... Im oh, hang on. Nope. There it is. <laughs> yet another impressive display from Maastrichia. A bonus point win there, and that will secure his place in the last 32 round. And I think, should Dino Hunter get defeated in this next matchup, that will secure second place for Maastrichia, with a chance to win the group. Right, on to our final match of this session. Right then, what's this match going to cook up for us? Ooh, we're in the Alpha Arena. Bloody shame no one's got any Alpha Dinosaurs, though. Right, in the red corner for Dino Hunter, we've got the Spinosaurus. Dino Hunter enjoying a decent tournament thus far. And in fact, given the first two results, all Dino Hunter needs here is at least a losing bonus point, and they will go through to the last 32 round. Backing up the Spino, we've got Aloatrox. Aloatrox doing the damage against Team Europe in round three. <laughs> right then, in the blue corner for Urn, we have got Armatus. It really hasn't happened for Urn this tournament. They've really struggled to impose themselves, but they're still in it to win it. And especially given the first two results that Iron Dan and Team Europe lost, Urn is in with a, still in with a decent chance of getting out of this group. But they must win this match. And in fact, if they do win this match, they'll reel Dino Hunter back into it. So, yeah. Pressure on both sides here. Because, oh, that was it. A win for Earth. And that puts Dino Hunter back in the mix. But a win for Dino Hunter. And, well, that puts Dino Hunter clear. And that means they'll have to do it all on the last day. And actually, that no, that will eliminate, eliminate Earth. Because... Iron Dan and Team Europe play each other, and unless that ends in a draw, I think even a draw would probably not be enough for Ur to catch them. So yeah, must not lose for Ur, they have to win this match, to stay alive in this tournament. Ooh, and that's a good start, that's a crit. Armour to start in strong. Poison in the spine now. Just the start they would have wanted, and both want to swap when HP's in the red, which makes things easy for me. Shockwave coming in as well. A promising start from Ur. That means Armatus will be going for yet another crap. Ah, oh, sorry, Dino Hunter, you can't go scissors, you gotta go paper. You just have to take the tie. The poison as well. Look at last this from Ur. Really good start. But we know it can all change quickly. Dino Hunter's going to fail the swap. Uh, dominating this match so far. Just the start they would have wanted. And look at that, the bar's going to fill up. We might see some spectral armor. Oop, that's a tie. 
Oh, hello, we got spectral armor bear to the code. Well, what an opportunity for her now. Because Dino Hunter will probably need at least three hits to kill the Armatus. But Armatus only needs one. Ooh, there's a tie. Oh, Armatus has won it! Dino Hunter has been demolished in this match by Ur. And Ur on the fourth attempt of asking getting the win, and not just a win, a bonus point win. And that, I feel, like has changed everything in Group E. Well, except for the top two. Well, where has that been from? Ugh. Smoked in the first three rounds, but demolishing Dino Hunter in round four. And Dino Hunter, well, gonna have to shake that one off, I'm afraid. Well, that changes everything in Group E. We have our host Stranger Gamer already safely through to the last 32 round, 4 from 4 on 14 points. Maastrician also booking their last 32 spot with 11 points. But Dino Hunter missing the opportunity to qualify. Gonna have to do it all in round 5 on 6 points. Then we have Ur storming up the table into 4 on 4 points with our big bonus point win over Dino Hunter. And we have Iron Dan and Team Europe. Level on points on three and nothing to separate them and wow that was an insane round So yeah, let's actually have a look at round five So round five well we start with the big game at the bottom between Iron Dan and Team Europe Whoever wins our game will well give themselves a chance to go through Whoever loses will go home and then we have Dino Hunter taking a crack at our host stranger gamer Well, I'm sure Dino Hunter didn't want to go into that game needing to get a result because our host has been in supreme form so far this tournament. Four from four. Looking really strong. It's going to be tough for Dino Hunter. But ugh, going up against Maastrician in the in the final match it will, be in, will be interesting. But Maastrician has been in really strong form. So I feel like that was a massive result for Ur. Just to get a win on the board. Give themselves an opportunity to get out of this group. But yeah, it's still all to play for. And the fact that Ur won drags Dino Hunter back into it. But I, I'm still pretty confident Dino Hunter will get through. Not sitting comfortably anymore. Not sitting comfortably. But as, I say, as long as neither of these two get bonus point wins in their match, Dino Hunter will go through. So yeah, that's going to end the session. So I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And until next time, ta-ta.